and just a gigolo, and everywhere I go, people know the fight I'm playing. You ever look at yourself naked in the full-length mirror and you want to fall on a knife? I have the sex appeal of leukemia. I'm pale, I have no body hair, little pink nipples. I look like a newborn orangutan. I have tits. You know how unsexy that is for a man? I can't even have sex missionary style. It's like, oh, I know you can't come because my udders are dangling in your face. You know what my lips look like? You ever see the vagina of a two-day-old bird? Hey, put a worm on your dick. Maybe he'll suck it. I think the male penis has a sense of humor. You ever get an erection when you have no use for it? I used to get them at weird times, like when I was getting a piggyback ride from my grandmother, and she'd always put me with my legs over her shoulders facing the wrong way. I think she really got a kick out of it. But then again, that's just me. Maybe if I didn't have such thin lips and a head like a sock puppet, it wouldn't matter. I want to know who takes a shit in my belly button when I fall asleep. Because I'm a pretty clean guy, but my belly button smells like the cunt of a Haitian marathon runner. That joke really stinks. Ugh. I should roll around in barbed wire with Magic Johnson. I am going nowhere in this business. I really feel bad for the guy jerking off at the next booth. How hard it must be to keep an erection with my awful little... <laughs> hey, can I have my tokens back? There's a hack comic babbling in the next booth. I wouldn't mind having my own sitcom. Jerry Seinfeld walked away from a show that they were offering him five million an episode. That's integrity. For five million an episode, I'll star in a show called Jim Blows His Uncle Again. Starring me and my real uncle. And in the season finale, I'll take it on the face and let it dry there. 